so baby You a little 48, baby Got a little candy in her pocket She gon' take off like a Hey you guys, how are you doing? I hope you're enjoying Curlsmas and welcome back to another video or welcome to my channel if you are new. In today's video, we're gonna be doing a wash and go. As y'all can see, I'm doing my hair. My hair's already freshly washed and things like that. But I have done this wash and go before with the same products. I'm just adding an extra one to the set just to see how it turns out. In a previous video, which is the video I tagged right here, I used the Kaleidoscope Miracle Drop Collection and I'm using it again today. I'm using majority of their products while also adding one more of my staple products that I love to this routine just to see what it gives my hair and what it does to my hair. So my hair is freshly washed, um, deep conditioned and all that. I let my hair dry up for too too long so I went ahead and used the Kaleidoscope Leave-In Conditioner Spray which is the only spray that I actually enjoy on my hair. I use this as my leave-in conditioner not a leave-in cream or smoothie or anything like that. I use their leave-in conditioner and then I'm going to apply water and I'm going to twist it up and I'm doing this to all of my sections just so that the leave-in conditioner can penetrate into my hair before I go ahead and start the styling portion of me trying to define my curls and whatnot. Now, once I apply all the leave conditioner to my entire head, I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna start defining my curls. And as you already saw, I'm using the Kaleidoscope Miracle Drop Styling Gel and I'm adding in wet line gel. But first, I'm gonna go in with the Kaleidoscope Gel. This is a moisturizing gel. It says it gives a uh, maximum hold or maximum um, like cast. And I, it, it don't do that for me, y'all. My hair, y'all see my hair have type four hair. My hair is very dense and I have a lot of it on my head, okay? And so I applied a generous amount of that. Now last time I used this um, curly cocktail, curly combo, whatever you wanna call it, um, my hair came out voluminous it, it was so good but my hair did not last as long as I would like it to so I thought if I add something that will give it a little bit more hold maybe it will last longer so here I'm applying the kaleidoscope um, styling gel to it but I am adding on the wet line or extreme professionals gel because this gel is known to have a more hard holding cast and it helps with longevity and it helps with curl definition especially at my roots because that's where I tend to get a lot of frizz and that's where typically I stretch my hair so I don't need as much gel at the roots but I like to use use um, that gel just to give me more of an umph and give me more definition and longevity in my wash and go styles so in my last video I did apply their miracle drop foaming mousse to y'all i've been like a mousse girl heavily lately and mousse has just been calling my name so i was like let me try this concoction again or this combo again and of course i had to use the mousse this was like maybe the second or third mousse that i really 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 enjoyed on my hair so i've been using it a lot lately i've been using it with clip-ins i've been using it with my hair for hairstyles for wash and goes i haven't done any twist outs or braid outs or anything like that but i want to try it with this mousse this mousse is so nice it helps me so so much with adding more like definition to my hair I believe my hair is already defined and juicy once I apply the gels because that's what gels do but when I add this mousse to it y'all my hair just transforms it's like adding more I don't know it's like adding more product but it's not because it's so lightweight and it's so airy but it defines the curls like look at it. look at the curls okay now I feel like I should have added more of the wet line gel but we'll talk about that later further down the road but y'all my hair this mousse just gave me everything I needed and it is just chef's kiss If you're new to my channel, then you might not know, but my routine kind of stays the same. Only thing that changes is the products. 
so since my hair is looking good y'all see what i'm doing to my hair and how i'm getting it like this i'm just gonna let the video play but i do want to um reinstate what i'm doing so first i added the leave-in conditioner to my whole entire head next i'm adding water and the kaleidoscopes um styling gel and once i work that in and i feel like my curls are clumped enough with that gel i go in with the extreme professionals gel which is wet line to add more of a hold and longevity to my hair and then i go in with the mousse and while i am just finger combing or raking once i get to the front of my hair my hair is less dense and it just needs a little help with the curls so i go ahead and finger coil for the most part just to get those curls to really act right and i love this when i style my hair so when i get to the front for this portion um this time i decided to add more mousse than anything so i added the wet line gel and then the mousse for the most part in the front especially because i think i wore bangs this week i'm pretty sure i wore yeah i wore bangs this week so i didn't really like part my hair off in any direction left or right side part middle part or anything like that because i wanted my hair to be out and free and it's in a froze state so yeah i hope y'all enjoy the rest of the video and i'll get back to y'all with the finished results Alrighty, so I'm pretty much done with my hair. I'm just finger coiling a couple pieces and I wanted to mention that I also did scrunch because I said I wanted to do the fro look this go around on my hair and my wash and go. So I'm scrunching in the front just to give you more curl definition because y'all can see those curls are looser. But y'all look at the results. Once I'm finished styling, this is what my hair looks like. My curls are popping, they're juicy. They have a lot of shine and luster to them, which I love. And it just looks so good. I cannot wait to see what it looks like when it is dry. But I gotta zoom in for y'all so y'all can see the curls. Now the front pieces, they need a little work, they need a little help. And I'm, I'm doing things to help that and to help my curls out. But for the most part, my hair looks good. Now when I wear my hair in the fro, I do this thing where I just shake it all about just to like clump the curls and to get them to act right and do right and all that. So I am gonna shake it a little bit so y'all will see that in here. I'm gonna shake my hair left to right, side to side. Do a little spin for y'all to show y'all the back, show y'all the sides. Give y'all every side profile that I can before we get into the results. Okay y'all, so this is my final results from that combo. I don't have all the products in front of me. I only have the leave-in conditioner in front of me. Um, let me get the other products real quick, hold on. I've done this combo before. And y'all, my hair looks so good. And now, it feels soft, but I don't know. I feel like I mentioned this in my last video. Last time I used just Kaleidosco products for a video. Um, I will put that video on the screen or put it in the description box for y'all to see later. But I use this gel and this doesn't claim to have, okay, no, it does have some type of, it does have glycerin. Glycerin isn't too high up, but it's high up and it has that glycerin feel to me, which I don't really care for in my products or on my hair. I don't really like the glycerin feel. Um, now it doesn't feel like terrible like when I use um, other products that have higher up glycerin so it doesn't feel terrible and it's, it doesn't feel bad at all it's just that I can feel it like when I touch my hair it feels fine but once I go to rub my hands I have like that residue on my hand that the glycerin gives off which I don't really care for but I do like my hair I do like my results and I will say I got more of a hold this time because I used the wet line um, the extreme professionals gel so 
I did do a voiceover, so this is just gonna be the ending. These are my ending results. My hair, um, I literally, what did I do it on? I did it on, I think I washed my hair, I washed my hair Sunday, Sunday morning, Sunday evening-ish, and then I let it sit for the rest of the day, and today is Monday, and it's currently 4, 11 p.m., so sorry, it's a little late, before 11, and yeah, my hair is done, and I just stretched it. Um, I didn't take a picture of what I was shrunken up, but just know it was real shrunken up, and it didn't have a cast once it dried. Like I thought there was gonna be a cast because I added the wet line, but there was no cast. I think it was because of this gel. This gel is super moisturizing, and in the front, I apply more of the mousse and the leave-in conditioner than any type of gel. So it's it's curling, but it's not like it's no crunch. It's more of a cast at the bottom than at the top. There's no cast up here but my hair looks good it looks defined it's a little frizzy this is like how if i have an event to go to if i have somewhere to go to this is how i want my hair to look now i don't really have bangs so like the pieces in the front are like really um longer than what they're supposed to be because i don't really have a bang so i'm like trying to go like that okay. that kind of look better but yeah this is my hair my hair looks good um it's not gonna last me for too too long so i'm probably gonna have to wash my hair in the next three or four days but this type of hair makes a good fro and it makes a good um high puff or ponytail or whatever like these this the type of hair that i like when i know i'm going out but then it, um i did want to show y'all that i did use the kaleidoscope miracle drop collection i used the leave-in conditioner spray which i love the miracle drop styling gel it does say strong hold this has no hold for me zero to no hole there's no hole for this um for me um, then i use the miracle drop styling foam and this doesn't um state to have any type of hold it just has set styles that helps support strong healthy hair um it says moisturizing texture form so this and then i applied the wet line or the extreme professional gel oh extreme pro expert gel just to give it some more definition and hold and longevity and i think that is going to help me because last time i did this I think I did, I did the two braids in the front and then I did the washing on the back with just to leave in the mousse and the gel. And it only lasts me for like three days, which I think this will last me maybe three or four days. But since um, this is a curls miss or vlogs miss video that I will be washing my hair in the next two or three days. So I hope y'all enjoyed it. I hope you love my results. I'm gonna do a little 360 for y'all cause I always forget. Now I don't know what the back looking like. Okay. I don't know what the back looking like, but hopefully it look good. Now I can't spin because it's the desk right here, so I'm gonna go back around for a while. Okay, here I go. Here I go. Okay, yeah, so this is the final result. My hair looks good. If you have a looser texture, then your hair probably will like this um, gel. Next time I wanna try, try just the leave-in conditioner, the mousse, and then the wet line gel to see what it does. And I'm gonna take this out of the equation just because it doesn't really give me a hold, but it does give me some shine. Like, y'all know I stretch my hair, so when I stretch, it doesn't really have a lot of shine to it, but my hair looks good, I feel good. Skin is glowing, okay, per. This is the end result. I really hope y'all enjoyed today's video. If you did, make sure to give me a thumbs up. And I don't know what day I'm gonna put this as a Christmas video, but let me know some product combinations y'all wanna see for the duration of Christmas or Vlogsmas, um, or just some videos that y'all wanna see. I wanna see some skin care you want to see some hair care you want to see makeup tutorials you want to see hairstyle you want to see try on hauls something okay let me know because i do not plan on um purchasing anything for black friday like not anything but not hair related i have if y'all could see my hair collection i'm not doing it so this is my final result hope y'all like it just as much as i do and i will see y'all in tomorrow's or the next video peace love y'all is this hard? Yeah, okay. Love y'all.